let's say we are going to add and subtract algebraic fraction. Algebraic fraction sounds really tricky. Don't worry. We just solve it like a add and subtract the normal fraction. So check the denominator. If the denominator is not the same, then finding the common denominator, right? So when we add and subtract the algebraic fraction, we must use all our skills that we learned from two previous lessons. So therefore, please pause the video then explain this picture clearly. Like I always address that, it is so important to explain the mass concept using your own words. So, pause the video that explain everything you learned from previous two lessons. Go! Well done! Now I think you have a concrete concept of algebra, right? Now, let's do our algebraic fraction. Right, okay, now you've got a algebraic fraction. 6y 13th, 2 add 2y 13th and take away 4y 13th. Now, luckily, it has got all the same denominator. All you need to do is add and take away all the numerators. Let's see, 13th, you need to collect the like terms. 6y plus 2y minus 4y is a 4y, that's all. So next fraction, it has got a different denominator, 6 and 12. So our common denominator is a 12. So that's why you need to times 2 to the first fraction. Denominator and numerator, that gives you 2x. Then adding 3x 12. So now you need to add all the numerator, that is a 5x. So now as you can see, to add the algebraic fraction, we use the collecting like terms, we use the expanding bracket, right? So we are practice all the skills we learned from the previous lesson, right? Now, this time, oh, it looks more complex. Now, see, still different denominator. Our common denominator is a 15, so let's times 5 and then 5 to the numerator. Then times 3, times 3. Now... 15, then let's make it into simple version. So 5 times 2 is a 10. Then you still got bracket. That now minus 15. Then 3 times 2 is a 6. You're distributing actually the 6 into the brackets. Just put the 15 as numerator. Then expanding bracket. 10m plus 30. Then be careful. You're distributing not 6. Minus 6, right? So, now minus 18m, then minus 12. Now, finally, we need to collect the like terms to put the same terms together. Now, 10m minus 18m is a minus 8m. Then, 30 minus 12 is plus 18. So, well done. The next one, our common denominator. Is a 10, so that's why you times 5 to uh, both of numerator and denominator. Always have a bracket when you times 2 terms. Then 2, and then now let's simplify them. 10 and so 5 and g minus 2, then minus 10 and 4, right? So 4 and g plus 1. Then now let's put them together. And also, let's expand our bracket. So 5g minus 5, minus 10. Then you are distributing minus 4, right? Not just plus 4. Be careful. So now, minus 4g minus 4. Now, collecting like terms. 5g minus 4g gives you a g. Then, minus 10 minus 4 gives you minus 14. Excellent. Now, this time, what's different these fractions are from the previous one? They have a variables in their denominator, right? But don't worry, it's the same. The first fraction, denominator is x, but same denominator. Just copy the denominator and adding the numerator. So it's 12 out of x. The next one, oh, you've got a different denominator. Let's find the common denominator. That is 2x, right? 
2x is our common denominator. To make x as a 2x, that is, you need to times 2. Then you also need to times 2 on your top. Then that gives you 16. Then you copy down the next fraction, then 2x. Then your numerator is 19. Again, different denominator. Let's find the common denominator. That is 6x. So 3x become a 6x. You times 2, right? Do the same thing on your top. 2x times 3, it gives you 6x, right? Now, then 2 times 7 is 14. 3 times 5 is 15. All you need to do is add in your numerators. That is a 29. That's all. So now here, this is more tricky because you've got a different variable, different lattice on your denominator. Still the same, just finding the, our common denominator. What is that? Yes, xy can be their common denominator. So then in order to change x as a xy, you times x on the bottom and on the top. Then you've got a 5x as a numerator. Then you copy down the 3x because it's the same. So now xy is your new denominator and then 8x is your numerator. Now this one again, what is our common denominator? That can be, I think you need to times everything, right? So 3 times 2, that is a 6, x times y. So 6xy is our common denominator and thinking about how to make 6xy. 3x, what factor do you need to times it? You need to times 2y, then it can be 6xy, right? Then do the same thing on your numerator. Then 2y becomes 6xy, you must times 3x. Then do the same thing on your numerator as well. Now let's calculate it. 4y minus 15x. Now let's calculate our numerators. 4y minus 15x. But can you see the like terms? No? So that's the end, right? This is end of the simplifying. Then here, so far, we practice how to simplify our algebraic fraction. But this time, this is the equation. Why? It has got equal sign and both part of the equal sign, we've got an expression. So this is the equation. So equation means we need to solve it, right? Solving equation means we need to find the missing value, f. Our final goal is a f equals the number. So let's try. Now, what shall we do? Before you start, always have a look at the term. Then try to find the simplest way. We've got lots of different ways to solve this equation. But let's see. What I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to organize the terms. So put all the fraction to the left side of the equal sign and then put all the numbers to the right side of the equal sign. That is going to be easier, right? So rearrange our terms. Undo the minus f plus 1 half. So that means you're adding it, right? So I'm just move around the terms. So all the fractions this side equals now I've got a 10 then move the number to the other side of the equal sign so undoing plus 3 is a take away 3 right then now after the rearrange the terms we've got a fractions and the numbers so it's easier so let's adding these fractions since they've got a different denominator the common denominator is a 4 then f minus 1 then 4n times 2, right? So have a bracket, good. Then 2f plus 2 equals 7. Then let's calculate the fraction. Then you've got a fn, 2f, 3f, and minus 1 plus 2 is a 1. That equals 7. Then now, do you remember when we do the ratio, I told you about the cross method. What is a cross method? Yeah, cross method is when it comes to the fraction, you've got a two same fraction, then draw the cross and then you need to times the both ends. Then they are the same. So A times D equals B 
times c. This is called the cross method, right? We did when we talk about the proportion. Then now let's use a cross method. Let's make seven as a fraction. That is a seven out of one. Then draw the cross and times the both end, and then make it the same. So three f plus one equals four times seven is twenty eight. Now three f equals undo the plus one. That is minus one. So that is twenty seven. So. 3 times f is 27, so undo the time 3, that means divide by 3, that's why our f is 9, f equals 9, so it's quite tricky, isn't it, but don't worry, just do it step by step, okay? Let's try another equation, then before you start, always have a think, and then find the easiest way. Since this is equation, finding the missing number is our goal. So Q equals the number, right? So what I'm going to do here, I need to reorganize it into all the fractions to the left side and then numbers to the other side. Minus 3Q plus 3, then we've got a minus 7 because we're undoing the 7, right? So minus 7, then let's simplify these two algebraic fractions. So 6 then times 2, both of them, times 3, both of top and bottom, but you must have a bracket, then minus 2q, then be careful since it has a minus, it's taking away, so you times minus 3, distributing minus 3 into the bracket, so minus 3 times 3q is minus 9q, then minus 3 times 3 is a minus 9, then let's collect the like terms, Let's see your numerators. So il minus 11 q minus 9, that is the minus 7. Let's use our cross method. Then minus 11 q minus 9 equals 6 times minus 7, that is minus 42. Then now all we need is a g q equals the number. So 11 q equals move your number to the other side. That is undoing is a plus. So minus 42 plus 9 is a minus 33. So now minus 11 times Q equals minus 33. Now let's undo the minus, undo the times minus 11. That is divide minus 11. Then Q equals, finally, we've got a negative 33 divided by negative 11. So you've got a both negative numbers that gives you a plus and then your answer is a 3. Well done. Okay, have a look at it. What shall we do? So, equation, definitely we need to find the M. Now, this time, uh, we're going to try different methods. So, we always move around the fractions to so make the fraction one side and the number the other side. This time, I'm just directly times 15 to the both side in order to make the fraction into a number. See, both of uh, the fractions, they got a common denominator of 15. So what I'm going to do is times 15 to the right side of the fraction. Since you've got a two terms, that's why I'm going to put the bracket. And I also times the 15. So as you've got an equation, it's okay to times the same number of both of the sides because it's equal, right? It's still equal. See? Then what will happen? Then now you've got a expanding bracket to with the fraction as a term inside the terms inside the bracket. So now let's distributing 15 to the terms inside the bracket. It's quite a clear idea, right? Let's try this one. Now you've got a 15 equals and distributing 15. Oh, let me write this again. 15 times m minus 4. Take away, distributing 15, 15 times 5, then m plus 3. The reason I put the bracket is that your numerator has got a 2 terms. That's why it's better to have a bracket. Then now what we need to do is 15 equals, let's simplify the fraction. Then we can have a 5n, m minus 4 bracket. Again, simplifying that minus 3. And the bracket and plus three bracket. So now it turned it to the normal normal expressions. Let's expand our bracket. 
5m and then distributing minus 3 so it gives you 5m minus 20 minus 3m minus 9 then let's collect our like terms 2m minus 29 equals 50 now what we need to do is find the m so 2m equals let's rearrange the number let's undo the minus 2 and 9 so 2m is 15 plus undoing is a plus so plus 29 so it gives you 2m equals adding 15 to 29 is 44 so 2m is 44 then 2 times m is 44 so now our m is let's undo the times 2 that is a divide already make sure you divide into 44 right m equals 22 what do you think it always has got a different ways so always you need to have a look at the equation and think a little bit which way you want to do okay well done okay now this is the end of the basic algebra lesson so whatever complicated uh, equations you have please have a moment think about it then you simplify the equation first then solve the equation by using inverse inverse operation then you will find the missing value right so please please practice lots of equations that it will be getting easier okay so as always thank you for listening and then I will see you with the different topics. Bye!